Hey everyone, Liz here. I have some really cool things that I want to show you right now. So yesterday I had spoken about putting together a Wi-Fi controlled robot and I actually got it working. It's just a preliminary preview, I guess, of what this actually is going to look like, but it's pretty cool. So I wanted to share it with you. So I just wanted to go over this new project with you. I'd spoken on Instagram a little bit about what I'm trying to do. I had this robot using the Arduino Uno and then a sensor shield, no Wi-Fi, no Ethernet, nothing like that. So then I decided to exchange the Uno for this Wemos D1 Mini, which essentially has an ESP8266 chip on it so I can connect to it with Wi-Fi. And what you're looking at right now is the client is connected. We've got the robot connected to the internet. This is its IP address. And you can see that I'm on this IP address in my browser and I've got this controller set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip on this battery so that we get this guy some power and I'm gonna be able to control the robot using the commands on this web page. So this is just locally on my home network. I've got the uh, Wi-Fi connected on the Wemos to my home router, and I've got my computer on that same network, and now I can send it some commands. And you'll see that the robot is moving forward right now. We can go ahead and stop it. We can send it backwards. We can go ahead and stop it again. Left. And then right. And right up here on the controller, you'll say that the robot state is on, you've got it moving right, and then it updates. So essentially what I'm trying to do here is show you that you can control a mobile robot through your home internet. And I've done that using the ESP8266 chip, this Wemos chip, and I've got a L298N motor controller plugged in and routed. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm commanding a button basically on this robot controller. The button has a specific URL and I'm sending that URL as an input to which direction I want to move. I just wanted to give you some footage of the robot actually running on the ground. I know I had it propped up on the table, but I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like driving around and it's not tethered to the laptop. I'm gonna start to command it to go forward and stop. Let me back up so that you guys can see it. All right, I'm going to make a right, it's just going to be a right spin. We'll go forward just a little bit and I'll back up a little. And then I'm going to do a left spin. So yeah, that's how it drives when I have it on the ground. It's actually fairly powerful. I like the way it's set up. I'm a really big fan of the small footprint of the uh, Wemos chip. I think that's amazing. It, it's literally like a quarter of the size of the Arduino with the sensor shield, and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and connectivity. So if this tutorial was interesting to you, go ahead and check out my blog. It's learnrobotics.org slash blog. I've got the full details, including the GitHub repository for this code. There are some tutorials out there that show you how to use the L298N and the Wemos chip, but they don't exactly tell you how to wire everything up. And that was my biggest trouble when getting this thing to work, was making sure that I had the motor controller properly connected to my Wemos chip. Once I had that going, everything went pretty smoothly. Setting up the client and server was fairly straightforward. And I'm gonna include all of the code here so that you can replicate it on your own. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.